10 billion euros per year. That's the cost that comes together due to natural disasters within the European Union every year. And 9 of 10 European Union citizens expect that other countries come to help when there's a major natural disaster, such as an earthquake, a volcano catastrophe, flooding, things like that. And these two things form the groundwork for the European Union Civil Protection Forum, which is taking place here in Brussels, the capital of Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the progress made, there is always room for improvement. We can do more, we can do better. We need to fully implement the new civil protection legislation. Europe is the first region in the world where member states agreed to produce a full risk assessment by the end of the year. Our ultimate goal must be to cultivate a risk management culture throughout our societies. We need to work more closely with all interested countries to develop commonly shared principles, objectives, and working methods. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Argos has a very interesting approach in that, uh, as an example, uh, as a mapping tool or a search and rescue tool. We also have smaller uh, drones which can go inside semi-destroyed buildings uh, flying there to search for uh, victims which are still alive. All these operations, we plan them to, be, uh, to do them as well in land scenarios, for example earthquakes, Haiti, uh, Nepal, or um, in marine environments, uh, that can marine search and rescue operations. When I found out after a bit of research that there was no code of conduct on how to use these new technologies in disaster response, I thought to myself, there's a huge gap here, there's a huge vacuum, and we need to do something about it. And so I launched this humanitarian UAV network, which now includes uh, the World Bank, the European Commission, the United Nations, the Red Cross on the advisory board. The job we did there, people saw the results, so they asked us, okay, could you please continue? So we get a request, official request from the government again to continue with its activities. And uh, we started a new project uh, based on this, so it's a mine action after floods. So it was coordinated also by our partners from Croatia. So they, they tried to combine three countries affected by this, so Bosnia and Herzegovina with the biggest impact, uh, Croatia and Serbia. This drone will be with the team, with the search and rescue team. They will just come with the van or whatever. They will just very quickly mount it and then start flying. So when they reach a disastrous area, they will just see rubble, for example. Quickly flying this over the rubble will start giving them immediately information live stream of the video, but also this map generation, very quickly map generation, detection of the victims, 3D reconstruction, etc. So for the operators, the ground operators, it will be very easy to immediately have a very, very good image of what is happening.
Okay. So, 